Hello, everybody. It's Miss Ginny from the Rotary Children's Library. Um, welcome back to Crafting with Ginny at 3.30. Today, we are going to be making an owl picture. So you can see it's pretty nice and bright. And this week, we've been working a lot with shapes, mostly triangles and circles. So I'm going to get started here. Um, I just wanted to let you know that if you haven't signed up uh, uh, for the fall programs at Rotary Children's Library, you can do so on our website at DraytonValleyLibrary.ca. And uh, it's under programs and you can check out the special events. So look under uh, the fall program, sign up, and then you get your Zoom privileges and it will explain to you how to do that. So let's get started uh, today. So right now, I just want to let you know of the materials you'll need. So one of the things that you'll want to do, and I just went on the internet, is you want some triangle shapes. So I just printed off some triangles. That'll help you a lot. And the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure that you've cut out a whole bunch of those triangles on colored construction paper. So just use that triangle sheet as a template. Decide on what size triangles you want, because this is gonna be for the feathers of the owl. So you can see I have a big bowl of different colors. And all I did to make it easier was I put a lot of different colors in one package and I just held them together with some clips. And then I traced my triangles onto the construction paper and I cut them all out. All right, so the other construction paper color that you will need is you will need yellow for the beak. And I'm using some green for the eyes and some dark blue for the eyes as well. So you'll probably wanna have those two colors. Again, you can make them whatever colors you want. It's totally up to you because this is your owl and it's your design. So I'm just gonna turn my computer down here, show you what other, um, craft supplies you will need for this craft. So I also have a, a piece of brown construction paper. You will need some scissors. You want a pencil to draw out your, um, your uh, triangles and your circles. And I'm using a black Sharpie pen. You can use a marker or a dark pen, whatever works for you. But a black Sharpie is pretty good. Of course, you'll need some glue for gluing onto it. And for making my circles, I just chose some different sizes of lids that I had here. So just choose anything to trace around to make a circle. Or like I said, you can go on the internet and print off some if you want. So once you have all your templates cut out like I do, then you're going to trace those on the paper, cut them out. So you can see that I've already cut out my eyes here and the center of the eyes and the black dots that go in the center, as well as I've cut out the yellow beak and the ears, the pink ears. Hope you can see that. All right, so let's get started. So what you want to do is you'll want to start, there is one, two, three, four, five rows of the triangles. And there is six triangles across for the body. So once you've cut out all your triangles and your circles for the eyes, then on the brown construction paper, you're going to glue on the eyes first. So I'm going to take my eyes. These are my eyes, the blue. I'm going to glue that on. You decide where you want to put your eyes, where your owl is going to be. Just keep in mind that you're going to need quite a bit of room here for your feathers. So you probably want your eyes up here near the top somewhere. And leave room for the ears too. Don't forget about the ears. So I'm putting glue on the back of both of my eyes here. And I'm going to leave room for the ears. All right. So the owl's eyes are always pretty close together. Now I want to glue on, I cut out some green to put in the center of my blue eyes here. So I'm going to put some glue in the center here. 
on each of these eyes. And I'm going to stick my green circles that I cut out in the center. Now you can hardly see these, but I do have some little black dot circles here. So now I'm gonna put those inside of the green ones. Just to give the, make the eyes stand out a little more. Because we know an owl has very big eyes. Their eyesight is really quite good. Okay, so once you have your eyes on your picture, you can see that's the start of my picture there. Now I'm going to want to put the beak underneath the eyes. So the beak is going to go between there, just under the eyes. So I'm going to put a bit of glue on there. All right. So the glue is or the beak is on there now. Now what you want to do is you want to start, you can put your ears on too. You can glue those on. That's not a problem. So I'm going to glue the ears on just like this. And you're going to put them right close to the eyes. We know that owls, there's all different kinds of colored owls. But uh, we're making our owl quite colorful. So I'm going to put some glue on the other ear here, put it close to the eye on the other side. So now you can see the start of my owl. So the next thing you're going to want to do is start gluing on your feathers. Pick any color that you want. I think I'm going to start out with a kind of a blue. So remember, you're putting about six of these triangles right across sort of in a row, as if it's like a clothesline, kind of think of it as that. So I'm gonna choose blue, and then I'm gonna choose an orange, and I think a pink. Let's see. I'm gonna choose an orange, then I'm gonna choose a pink. So I'm just kind of lining them up to see where I'm putting them. And then I'm going to maybe put another blue. All right, so I've just started my owl. Um, for those of you that didn't see what I did to begin with, I just wanted to mention that when you start, you're going to need quite a few different colors, quite a few different colors of construction paper. I'm Miss Ginny from the Rotary Children's Library. For those of you that missed the beginning, so I'm just, you've heard this, some of you already, so I'm just saying this again. So today we are doing an owl picture. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take your construction paper. And what I did was I went on the internet and I just got some triangle shapes. So you wanna get some triangle shapes. You decide what size you want your triangles. And I just put a whole bunch of different colors of construction paper and I put clips to hold them in place. Then I traced those triangle shapes onto the paper and cut them out. So that's what you're gonna to want to have. The other construction paper you're gonna want is some green, some blue, and some yellow. You're also gonna need your scissors, of course, and your pencil, and a, a Sharpie or a black felt uh, pen marker. And I cut out all my triangles because you're going to need quite a few of them. So you can see I have a bowl full of them. 
And I also, I've already started this because I um, started the video earlier and uh, then we had someone join us, so I'm just repeating myself. I also used any kind of lid to make a circle for the eyes. And then I used a smaller lid to make the green circles. And then even a smaller bit to make the black in the middle. So when I did the eyes, I just traced those out, cut them out, and I glued the, the blue on first close to each other because we know the owl's eyes are fairly close together. And then I glued on the green for the center part of the eye. And then I put little black uh, circles in the very center. And then I cut out pink triangles for the ears of the owl. The other thing I cut out was a yellow beak. So a triangle beak. So now you're at the same part where I left off before. So you're gonna need your glue stick handy. And now I was just talking about you want to pick some colors from your bowl of your for the feathers. So I'm just going to put the computer down here so you can see my laptop so you can see what I'm doing. So you'll want to pick about six. You're going to do uh, five rows of feathers down. So you want to try to make the shape of that owl. And I just glued all those others onto a brown piece of construction paper. So we know that owls have lots of feathers. So we're going to make them colorful feathers today. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with picking a blue one. That's the color I wanna start with. You can pick any color to start with. And I'm just gonna kind of line it up here, just so I know where I'm going to be gluing these down. So I think I'm going to pick um, an orange next. Let's see. So I'm going to put an orange right by the blue because this is the feathers. And then I think I'll put a pink. And you can, you're, you can lift your beak up a little bit. If you want to put that down after you can put the pink underneath that a little bit or whatever color you've chosen. And then I'm going to be putting probably maybe kind of a creamy white color. And I think I'll choose a red. So you can see it takes a little while to do all the gluing, but you can do it. So I'm going to choose four to five, maybe six colors across. So I think I'll choose a green. No, maybe I'll choose, um, let's see what other color do I have here. Maybe I'll choose another blue on the end here. Again, do it however you want. So I'm going to put my glue on these and I'm just going to stick them on. So just put a bit of glue on the back of each one just to do the first row of feathers. And this is gonna be a very colorful owl. This week we, we've been uh, doing all sorts of colors um, because we've been doing all sorts of shapes, mostly triangles and circles. And let's see, I'll put a red one maybe might put a green one, we'll see. And maybe I'll put a green one up here. Again, try to think of it as kind of a clothesline. So you can see I have my first row. So now I'm going to put another row because we're gonna do about four or five rows. So pick any color that you want. Try to pick a different color from the ones you have on that side. I think I'll go with a green one here. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my green. And I'm going to set that one in there like that. Sort of set it, set it in between the other ones. Uh, let's see, what do I want now? I think I'm going to pick a red one. So just keep going with gluing your triangles on. Again, they will overlap. 
that's not a problem because we know that an owl's feathers overlaps. So that's not a problem at all. And I'm going to put a green one. So like I said, try to pick colors that you hadn't used on the first row uh, in the same places. So try to pick them so that they're, they're kind of uh, different colors. All right. As you can see, now I have a second row. Again, it's kind of like a clothesline. So now I'm going to do a third row. Let's see what color do I want this time. I think I'll pick a pink. So your feathers are going to be scattered throughout. And now I'm going to pick a blue. And then I think I'll pick a red or an orange. And maybe kind of a creamy colored one or no, let's go with um, a green. No, I think I'll take a red. Just mix your colors up as much as possible. So now you can see I have three rows. So my owl is starting to look pretty good. So it's tapering in. So I'm just going to pick some more colors here now. Uh, let's see, let's start with maybe a cream color. And uh, then I'll go green. That's why you need a lot of triangles for this craft. Put a green one here. And I'm going to put a pink one over here. You can see my owl is becoming really quite colorful. So now I'm going to taper it down to where I'll get to be about three or four triangles left to do because it's getting to the bottom of my owl. So now I'm going to pick a red. And maybe I'll pick a blue. And an orange. So now you can see, I'm just going to put a couple more down here and I think I'm going to pick blue, both of them blue, just to kind of finish it off so that they look like this. So the owl is kind of finished there. So that's called tapering off when you use less and less. Maybe I'll put one in the center here. Just to finish it off with one last one. And there you can see that I have made a very colorful owl. It's easy for you to make your owl too. So you just have to cut out all those triangles and circles and then make sure you have a yellow beak. Do whatever color you want for the ears. I did pink. And then you, it looks like it's a feathered, colorful, like, kind of like a mosaic owl in a way. All right, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our craft today. Coming up tomorrow at 10.30, our program at the Rotary Library is musical theater. And speaking of owls, you will get to meet this owl if you join me at 1030.
So we're going to be singing some songs using the puppet. And uh, then in the afternoon at 3.30, we'll be doing paper magic. And I'm going to be making some woodland shape animals. Again, this week is all about shapes. So you can see there's a fox there and a hedgehog and another owl. So we're gonna use lots of different shapes. We'll use heart shapes. We might use some triangles, we'll see. All right, thank you again for joining me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.